1번에서 3번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. 1번 Hi, I'd like to make a reservation for a seminar room this Saturday. Let me check. We only have one available on that day. We're expecting about 20 people. Do you think it's big enough? 2번 Hey, I heard you got all A's again. I bet you'll get the scholarship award this year. No, I won't. The scholarship award has to be given to somebody else. Really? Why is that? 3번 Wow, that bicycle looks really cool. Is it new? Yes. I recently started going to work by bicycle instead of driving my car. Oh, really? You must be saving a lot of money on gas, but isn't it dangerous? 4번 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Charlie, I'm back. So, what did the doctor say about your back pain? He said I need to get physical therapy for a while. I'm sorry to hear that. Did he say what caused it? Well, you know, the typical things, such as bad body posture, lack of exercise. But he wasn't quite sure. I see. Hmm. I heard that there's a company that provides standing desks for its employees who want them. Standing desks? Yes. We spend too much time sitting in chairs, and that can cause health problems. Right. So using a standing desk can help? Yes, but it's just one possible way. Somehow we need to reduce the amount of time we spend sitting. Right. But that's easier said than done. 5번. 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, everyone. If you love animals and enjoy being active, there's no better job than zookeeping. However, the process of becoming a zookeeper may be more challenging than you think. So, here are some tips. First, try to get a bachelor's degree in zoology. biology, or animal science. You should also get some real experience working with animals. You can check with individual zoos and wildlife parks to find out about volunteering opportunities. It's also good to get a driver's license in case you have a chance to work in wildlife or safari parks. Finally, try to get some training in public education and public speaking, since educating visitors is an important part of being a zookeeper. 6번 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. What are you doing? I'm watching the Olympic medal ceremony on TV. Let's watch it together. Okay. Oh, look at the medalists' faces. I've always wondered why the silver medalist doesn't look as happy as the bronze medalist. I think silver medalists feel disappointed in missing out on the gold medal, but bronze medalists feel happy making the cut. That makes sense to me. It's like those who are happy with their cell phones become unhappy when they see others with newer models. But people with the oldest models feel grateful when they see people who don't even have one. I think people's happiness depends on who they compare themselves with. Exactly. 
7번과 8번 시험 공부 방법에 관한 다음 강의를 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good morning, class. We are going to have our midterm soon, so I thought it might be helpful to talk about study techniques. Researchers at Kent State University say they've identified self-quizzing before the big day as one of the best ways to prepare for a test. The research team looked into 10 popular studying strategies and evaluated the usefulness of each. They found that self-quizzing on the test material is highly effective and has been shown to boost students' performance across many kinds of exams. Meanwhile, rereading, highlighting, memory tricks, and writing summaries were not very effective and did not improve test performance for most students. Unfortunately, for those who rely on last-minute cram sessions, the other study technique that is most effective is spreading out studying over time. However, the same researchers also gave a word of caution, which was that their recommendations might not improve achievement for all students and perhaps would benefit only motivated students who are capable of using those strategies. 7번 가장 효과적인 시험 공부 방법으로 켄트 주립대학 연구자들이 제시한 두 가지 방법을 고르시오. Mr. Smith, what are you doing? I'm uploading a photo of my environmental class to the school website. Is this a picture taken inside our school's greenhouse? Yes. I let my students bring their own seeds and plant them in those flower pots next to the chair. I bet they love doing it. Maybe the boy with the hose is trying to water his plants. Yes. Well, the hose isn't long enough to water the plants outside, so the students sometimes use those bottles next to the tap. Oh, there's a basket of flowers on the table. They're beautiful. Some students are learning how to arrange flowers. Great. There are some pairs of gloves under the table. Do the students wear them? Yes, to protect their hands. I'd like to observe your class. Sure, any time. 10번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Mrs. Lewis, you did really well today. Thank you, Mr. Brown. I'll see you next Monday. Didn't I tell you I'm taking next week off? Oh, that's right. I heard you're going to Paris on vacation. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Michael will help you work on your backstroke while I'm away. Okay. How was my posture today? Pretty good. But as I said, try not to stir up the water more than you have to when you're kicking. Am I still kicking too hard? Yes. You need to kick more softly, or you can hurt the muscles in your legs. Plus, loosen up your shoulders. I see. Correcting my posture is much harder than I imagined. Don't worry too much. When I get back, I'll work on it with you. 11번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dan, our boss doesn't know about our surprise party for her, right? Yeah, you know I'm good at keeping secrets. Where is she now? She's in a meeting. We have about 30 minutes left to get everything ready. Let's hurry then. Where are the balloons? I'll decorate her office. 
Don't worry about that. Pat already took care of it. Did you get a birthday card? I made one this morning, and the cake will be delivered in about five minutes. Great. What about a video camera? Did you bring one? Oh, no. I forgot. What should we do? I know Charles in the sales department has one. You can borrow it from him. Thanks. I'll go get it now. I'll send a message to everybody and tell them to come over to the boss's office. Okay. See you there. Hi, Amy. This is William. Hi, William. How are you doing? Actually, not very well. I twisted my wrist yesterday. Sorry to hear that. You need to get some rest. I'd like to, but I'm supposed to do volunteer work at the children's hospital this afternoon. Really? What are you going to do there? I read books to the children. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. Do you want me to go in your place? No, I'd like to show them the funny video clips Josh and Mary made. You mean the ones about their unusual school life? Right. If you have the video clip files, can you send them to me by email? Sure, no problem. I think the children at the hospital will like them. 13번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 구입한 청소기를 교환하려는 이유를 고르시오. Olivia, this vacuum cleaner looks cool. I bought it from an online shop last week. It's the latest model. I like the design. Was there any problem with your old vacuum cleaner? Well, it worked okay, but it made too much noise. I see. So this one must be quieter. Yeah, and the suction power is so strong, it removes dust and hair really well. But I think I need to send it back to the shop and exchange it. Why? What's wrong? I think there's something wrong with the wheels. They are so stiff that it's difficult to move it around. Maybe it's defective. Yeah, it's really annoying. Using an online shop is convenient, but it's hard to check if a product works well in advance. You're right. 14번. 부베 아일랜드에 관한 다음 설명을 듣고 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Look at this video clip and guess where it is. This island, called Bouvet Island, is located in the South Atlantic Ocean. It's a volcanic island on which no one lives. It's the most remote island in the world. Now you can see the center of the island, an ice-filled hole of an inactive volcano. The island has an area of 49 square kilometers, and 93% of the island is covered by glaciers, which also block the south and east coasts. Bouvet Island has no ports or harbors, so the only way to approach it is with a helicopter from a ship. Because of the harsh climate and ice-bound terrain, vegetation is limited to mosses. 15번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 총 금액을 고르시오. Hello, Wilson Stationery Store. How may I help you? Hi, this is Ellen Brown at Redondo Union High School. I'd like to order some flash drives. Oh, Ms. Brown, do you have any particular type in mind? Yes. I need two types, 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes. Can you tell me how much each is? Yes, the most popular 8 gigabyte flash drive is $5, and the 16 gigabyte drive I'd recommend is $7. 
All right. How many items do you need? I'd like one hundred of each type. So two hundred altogether, right? That's right. And can you imprint our school logo on them? Sure. That'll add an extra twenty dollars to your total. That's okay. I'd like to go ahead and place the order. Sixty-six. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자를 찾아간 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ms. Robinson, may I come in? Sure. Hi, Ryan. I'm really sorry I'm late. No problem. I was just doing some paperwork. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm planning to apply for a student exchange program to study abroad next year, but I haven't decided where to go yet. Do you have any specific place in mind? Well, English-speaking countries would be good because I don't want to have problems communicating. That's a good thought, but one of the purposes of a student exchange program is to learn another language. Have you studied any foreign languages in high school? I studied Chinese a little. Then how about Singapore? People speak both English and Chinese there. It would be a good opportunity for you to practice Chinese. That sounds like a really good idea. Thanks for your help. 17번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 선택할 영화를 고르시오. Jack, look at this brochure. The Asian Film Festival is being held this weekend. Let's go see something. Sure. Which one should we see? Anything is okay with me. I'm free all weekend. How about you? Any time except Saturday afternoon is okay with me. I have a family get-together. All right. Then how about the Japanese movie Saturday morning? No, it's a horror movie. I don't like those kinds of movies. Okay, let's choose something on the next day. How about this Chinese comedy? Well, I prefer Indian movies to Chinese movies. All right, and since you said you don't like horror movies, maybe this one is our best option. That looks good to me. Okay, let's see that one. 18번과 19번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. 18번 Mike, thank you for giving me a ride. Don't mention it. Oh, where did you buy your baby car seat? I was looking for that same model for my son, but I couldn't find one. I bought it from an overseas online shopping site. You did? Isn't it difficult to use an overseas shopping site? Not at all. It's very simple. Really? I heard that the shipping cost is really high. It depends. In my case, I didn't have to pay anything for the shipping. That's great. But I've heard stories about some people who got cheated by overseas online shopping sites. 19번 Dad, I'm going swimming with some friends tomorrow. What? You shouldn't go swimming when you have an ear infection. Don't worry, Dad. I think my ear infection is almost gone. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't feel any pain anymore. I didn't even take the medicine this morning. Didn't the doctor tell you to take all the medicine he prescribed? Yes, but I didn't think it was necessary. You're not a doctor. You have to do what the doctor says. They're antibiotics. I want to take as few antibiotics as possible. 20번 
다음 상황 설명을 듣고 엠마가 미스터 존스에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Emma is a senior at Morning Hillside High School. Since she was young, she has always been very interested in cars, and becoming an engineer seemed like a perfect career path for her. As a senior in high school, Emma is wondering what she should do after she graduates. She's not sure whether she should go to college and study engineering or choose a vocational school to get more practical skills for a job. So, she makes an appointment with Mr. Jones, a career counselor at her school. When she sees Mr. Jones, she asks him for his advice regarding her problem. In this situation, What would Emma most likely say to Mr. Jones?